What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I am in Goodwill and they just brought out a new cart of goodies for me to look through. Trying to find something I can buy and sell on eBay or Amazon using FBA. And yeah, a lot of people are very negative on Goodwill, but I'm still excited to go in Goodwill every day and look for stuff. Uh, sometimes you find things that are just priced way too high. It's ridiculous. You know, you see a $75 pair of used Skechers shoes and you think to yourself, oh my goodness, what are they doing? They're so greedy. But at the same time, you do find good deals at Goodwills and places if you go in enough. And yes, every Goodwill is different. The ones in your region may be managed different, have different return rules and all that. Price things very high. And maybe you don't find anything. Uh, it's very possible. I know from experience around here, a lot of the Goodwills are very high. And then the prices come down and then they go back up. I think people just get mad. They start complaining. They leave bad Google Maps reviews and stuff like that for the store about the prices and new management comes in or whatever. The prices go down again and they go back up. They're just experimenting, I guess, to see if people will buy stuff. However, you can see here a couple of new carts have come out on top of the other one. And I'm just checking to see if I can find anything good. Unfortunately, they weren't fruitful. Nothing good. That's a lot of times when you find your best items are on those new carts. I do see this over here, Lightbringer's case, and I looked it up. I could not find any information on it. I thought maybe it was worth something. It has the key in there. It's not in great shape. If anyone knows anything about it, you can let me know. Uh, but yeah, I didn't see any good comps on that. But you know what? I come into this Goodwill the next morning, and this is why you need to go into these places multiple times a day sometimes, because they bring out new stuff all the time. Here is uh, Batman and Robin thing uh, to hang on the wall it was not old it was newer pretty cool though kind of wish i would have bought it not a big batman fan but for a dollar 99 that's really fair here is this sealed charbroil um some, some, something for a grill like igniter and i looked it up i can sell that on amazon make some money it's only 6.99 brand new sealed so i went ahead and grabbed that and just looking through this mess of junk some would call it um others would call it treasure <laughs> or you can think of all this junk as dirt and there's some there's some treasure buried in there right uh maybe you just gotta dig around for it unfortunately i didn't find anything else uh over in the shoes i find these doctor comfort shoes i never found any like this before and it turns out it's a pretty good model so i'll pick those up and make a little bit of money and i uh, didn't see much over here for the shoes but i noticed the shoe prices here are dropping they're not pricing them up anymore they used to price them all like 6.99 7.99 but they brought out some carts so i head over and i see some boots up there at first i'm like oh this place you know they price their boots 25 30 bucks i probably don't want them so i come over here to look and i see some decent shoes on the bottom as well uh, there's this frozen plush, which might have been a little bit of money. I did look that up. I just determined it wasn't profitable enough for me to buy. Didn't want to, to deal with the time for you know, maybe $5 profit. But I see some shoes down at the bottom. I go back. I see the boots. I grab those. They're actually Justin boots. Over here, I see this um, Megazord Imaginex thing. And sure enough, it's only $4.99. So I can grab that and make some good profit. There you see some of the shoes I got, and I got my cart filled right now. I got the Megazord in there. I uh, put the Rocky cassette back because I realized I have that same cassette I just picked up recently. Why do I need two? But going through the toys, making sure there's no other good profitable items that have come out. And there's a bag of these Legos and other building materials. Don't want that. Nothing in there. That's great. Got some loose toys. Down here is one of these little rubber ride things. Um, somebody pointed out that some of those are worth money. I forget the brand. That wasn't one of them, I don't think. Here is a Ryan's World doll, and I've never noticed these before. Um, this brand or anything, it looked interesting, so I decided to look it up. Sure enough, I can make some money on it. It was only $1.99. Here are some actual Legos, and apparently my GoPro went off for whatever reason there. I didn't get much footage of that, but the Legos weren't great. I head over to a new Goodwill though, and we're in the toys. And I'm looking at this Michelangelo Mikey figure, and he's missing a foot, unfortunately. Poor Mikey. Uh, it was a newer one anyway, not really worth picking up. I uh, got a little car there. 
all these toys there's so many little toy bolos i've mentioned before uh just things that are worth literally hundreds of dollars that you would never think is worth that and look at this madness i'm like is this another one of these ryan's world dolls um another one at this goodwill <laughs> i've never seen any before and then all of a sudden there's two uh yeah it seems to be some sort of doll from that show or tv series whatever it is i really don't know but uh i looked it up i decided to buy that one as well down here's a couple interesting things i got this little robotic like hand looked it up wasn't wasn't worth worth picking up this however i google lensed it and sure enough there's some selling for decent money and it was only a dollar 99 so definitely make some profit on that picked it up i set it back down for now <laughs> since i was recording but yeah there's there's some money there so happy to have took the time to look that up uh, i thought it was just a cheap toy it looked kind of cheap it didn't really have a, a name on it there's some children's toys usually not worth as much but here's this iron diesel train set with a track cat uh decided to grab that it was 5.99 i believe and there's gonna be some profit in that um what else we got here I'm not seeing much of anything else, uh, but every time I come into the Goodwill, there's just, there's different stuff. Oh, down here on the bottom shelf, I see something I, I could have bought. Here's a Thanos. I've actually sold these Thanos figures before. Usually I get them at a, like a garage sale for a quarter and I sell them for like 10 plus shipping or something. So that one I didn't want to pick up. There's an Imaginex Power Rangers toy. Um, this one just not worth picking up. Um, it, it can be, I think I could probably make $10 on it in the end, but the reason I don't pick up stuff like that is just because it's so big. Um, you t it takes space for that $10. It takes time to list. And um, yeah, there's a lot of people selling them. But I pick up the other Megazord because there's just more money in it. Here are some Xbox games. It's rare to see video games at Goodwill. One of my things about Goodwill I do not like is they ship most of their games to be sold on Goodwill online. Uh, they're just trying to make as much money as possible. I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, you have stores everywhere that people want to come in and find this stuff. They want to find good deals, and that's what drives your customer base. So, you know, don't put as much stuff online. Let people come in and find it. Chances are they're going to come in looking for video games and walk out with other stuff. If they know they can't find video games, all these game hunters, they just drop Goodwill, and a lot of them have. Uh, you can see my cart's filling up. i got this Wayne's World hat. Got that Coca-Cola thing in there, which I put back. It just turns out it's not worth as much. Here's one of these heaters. Now, this isn't the, uh, is it Eden Pure? Is that the name I'm thinking of? Uh, there's some of those heaters, those infrared heaters that are pretty good money. Uh, they actually sold for like $600 new. So they definitely have some pre-owned resale value. Uh, that one was a, kind of a no-name cheap one. Maybe worth a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what the price was. I'm very picky on what I buy, especially now because I got so much backlog to list. Uh, I don't want to buy things that are larger and going to sit, um, you know, so I'm looking for the better stuff, really. Here's this top star co-producer film thing. Uh, they got $40 on it. That's just too much. That's one of those things that's going to sit for a long time, I bet you. And actually, this is like three or four weeks ago I recorded this, and it's still sitting there from what I noticed. Here's a new cart that came out, and of course, I'm checking it. Got a stuffed duck. You got that lamp which was a newer looking kind of kind of Tiffany style. Uh, nothing very valuable there. You got a clock down there that's nothing special. Some glass jars, some Halloween stuff, which not old enough for me, not cool enough. But we're just walking around, seeing if anything just pops out. Go down the glass aisle, and you know what? A lot of this stuff just looks very basic, right? And I don't understand why Goodwill Price is just basic glasses like that for $3.99 they get so many donated honestly if they would just price that stuff 50 cents people would be flood in here to buy glasses when they needed them and usually buy other stuff so uh, there's no shortage of that stuff and usually they have to throw that stuff away so i don't know why they do it uh we got we are in salvation army now and they got this tiger head and i thought this was going to be good it was only $7.99 i looked it up though unfortunately just not really selling for much. I think it was only selling for like $20 or something like that. So I just decided not to mess with it. That's one of those things I figured they would price up a bit more. Uh, we got furniture. Not interested in that kind of stuff. That looked like a really big stool there. 
I don't know if that was the camera or what, but over here we're hoping to find some electronics or something I can flip. There's a bunch of old looking lamps, nothing exciting, an old microwave, uh, foot spa, some of the stuff can be okay sometimes. Here's a paint sprayer, unfortunately it's used, I checked into that. Uh, I don't want to mess with a used paint spray. You don't know if that paint's not been cleaned out of the tubes and it's just dried in there. It can be a mess. Not worth my time. And I'm just walking along the shelves here trying to spot something. As always, let me know if you see something I should have picked up. Uh, it's still amazing to me how many things people spot that I'm not aware of. <laughs> uh, just crazy um, when you put everyone's knowledge together. Here's a little horse and a little doll. I'm not sure what that's from. For 49 cents, I should have just bought it and looked into it. But there's all these bags of Barbie dolls, except for that one. That was some other doll set. Uh, here's a Monster High doll bag for $4.99. I definitely picked that up. But the rest of the dolls, they were uh, Barbie, nothing too special. And they were $1.99. So two dolls in each bag, a dollar a piece. Not bad. I did buy all those. And I just shipped them out yesterday, actually. I uh, ended up selling them all for 30 bucks. I uh, had about, what, $6 into them. So, yeah, it was worth it. But let me show you everything I picked up today. Here it is. Here are the treasures. Let's start back here with this Power Rangers Imaginex toy. Nice and big. It was only $4.99. And I looked up the comps, and sure enough, it's valuable. Should be able to sell it between $40 and $50 plus shipping, it's looking like. Hopefully, there's a way to detach it from the middle, maybe, and ship it in two pieces. I'm not sure. A lot of this Imaginex stuff I never buy because it's big, bulky. It's not big money without the figures. But you know, some of them, like this Megazord, is pretty good. So with Salvation Army, I got some dolls, some Barbie dolls, and some of these Monster High dolls. Monster High dolls were $5 for the bag, so there's five in there, so a dollar a piece. And Monster High dolls are good, especially when they got all the shoes, the clothing. They're in great condition. It's hard for me to say what these are worth exactly because I, I don't know a lot about them just by looking at them. They're kind of hard to look up because each of them have different names eventually I'm going to find enough where I'll just know by looking. That'll be great. But if you look up some lots, ones with clothing, uh, some of them can go up for over $100 on auction. And that's probably what I'm going to do here since I don't know a whole lot about them. I think there's enough people looking for certain ones that, you know, I'll get about true value out of them by doing an auction. Also saves me a lot of time trying to individually look up each and every one of them. So I'll probably start this at about 25, 30 bucks and uh, see where it goes. I think minimum I'm going to make about $40 profit on these. Same with these Barbie dolls, $1.99 a bag and they got the clothing they're in good condition usually don't buy barbie don't know a lot about barbie unless you know it's original stuff from the 60s what needs to be bought but since i got two dollars in each one of these bags and they're in great condition i think i'm just going to do an auction on those as well at a dollar a piece i think there's some profit there right any barbie people out there can let me know if i have anything special it's just so crazy how worthless uh, a lot of Barbie is, and by worthless, I mean just not worth a whole lot of money. Uh, they just don't sell great, and they're just very saturated. And the same with this one. This it got a new in-box Snow White Barbie doll. Actually, I guess it's not technically Barbie. It's Mattel. Uh, it's just Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. $2.99 sealed. You know, just not worth a whole lot. Maybe $15 plus shipping. I went ahead and picked it up anyway. I found a brand new sealed Barbie doll recently from like $84, and it's still only worth like $20. Bucks. But I think, you know, doing a lot, I think these dolls are definitely going to be worth some profit. So over here, I got some more dolls. These are, I guess, from Ryan's World. Uh, I looked up this one right here. I found these at two different Goodwills as well, which is crazy because I don't think I've ever come across these in the wild before. Didn't know what they were. I just looked them up. Uh, but it seems like this doll sell between $24, maybe even $30 fully clothed in good condition. This one, I, I don't even know. I just picked it up because it was $1.99. I think, I'm pretty sure they're different. They got different color hair and eyes. So I'm assuming, you know, they're not the same person. One's probably Ryan. One's his friend. I don't know. You see, he's got some marks on this one but a magic eraser would take that off 
I might just lot them together if they're two different dolls. I, I don't know exactly, but I paid $1.99 for this one, $2.99 for that one, so there's profit there. Got a dream machine right here. It's been a long time since I found a dream machine out there in the wild, and I sell these on Amazon, and they still sell for about $50 pre-owned. We'll get it tested, make sure it works, and then ship it off FBA. Here is some sort of mech um, exoskeleton type thing. It was $1.99 at Goodwill. I used Google Lens. I looked it up. Sure enough, this is pretty valuable. One sold for $40. I think it might have been $40 or $50 plus shipping. Now, the one that sold, there's a figure that goes with it that sits in the cockpit. Do not have that, unfortunately, but still at $1.99, I think I'm going to price this about $30 bucks plus shipping. It should sell. Bought this Wayne's World hat. Uh, some of these vintage hats, the Saturday Night Live version, can go uh, $40, $50. Bucks. This one, I don't think is, I think it's just a repop, right? Magic Headwear. I, I looked up Magic Headwear, Wayne's World. I couldn't even find a hat that matched it. Uh, but for $1.99, I figured I'd give it a shot. Maybe sell it for $15, $20. We'll see. So I have some incredible shoe deals. For some reason, this Goodwill was not pricing up their shoes that day. They didn't have any stickers on them. When they don't have a sticker on them, the base price is $4.99. Even the cashier told me, it's like, grab these while you can. I don't know what they're doing back there. Yeah, I got these Noosa Asics. I've found these in the wild before. They're usually just destroyed. Uh, they're worth decent money. This pair, I should you know, be able to sell for at least $40 plus shipping. They are missing the insoles, uh, which is unfortunate, but still going to be great profit there. I also picked up these Dr. Comfort shoes, which, oh, they're pretty good. I've sold Dr. Comfort in the past. Certain ones, like the wide sizes, they do okay. It looks like I'll be able to sell these for about $29.99 plus shipping. But these I saw on a new cart that came out, and honestly, I just kind of ignored them at first because I'm like, well, this Goodwill, you know, they're going to price boots, you know, about $20, $25, so I'm not too excited about them right away but when i went back and looked i saw that they were justin gypsy steel toe which are great boots and i was like whoa there, there's no price tag i'm getting these for 4.99 and i did this model there's a couple comps there wasn't really any on ebay uh, just a couple comps for i think one sold for 90 some dollars plus shipping pre-owned and another pair sold for about 60 or 70 i don't remember exactly um, $4.99, going to be great profit. I recently found some Justin boots for a quarter at a rummage sale, so happy to be picking up these boots, especially at those low prices. Over here, I picked up a couple books, uh, some ancient Christian commentary and the story of Christian theology. They were $2.99 at Goodwill. Looks like I'll sell these on Amazon, uh, make about $15 a piece. Book fees are just ridiculous on Amazon. I really don't know why, though. Uh, they don't seem like they would be that hard to store. Like, you could sell a, a larger box and the fees are significantly lower. Uh, but for whatever reason, books... Yeah, you can even ship books media mail. I guess Amazon probably doesn't do that since they have a deal with UPS. Uh, they ship everything UPS, but I just don't know why the fees are so high. These sell in the 30s pre-owned, but in the end, you know, you're only making about $13, $15 profit max. They're in good condition, so I think I'll get $30 there. Got this Grill Care Company um, Universal Fit gas burner, and it was $6.99. It looks like I can sell this on Amazon for about $45, so we'll ship that. The FBA shipment makes some profit. Back here, I also got this Iron Diesel Train Cat set. I looked it up and I saw that the tracks alone were selling for $35. And some of the carts were selling for uh, different prices. Not real high, like $12, $15 a piece. So there's a good chance I part this out. I'll have to get it open and see what's all in there. Maybe I'll just sell it together, save myself some time. I don't know yet, but I paid $5.99 for it. It's going to be some good profit. And then finally at Salvation Army, I picked up this Patagonia jacket. It was only $3.99. Uh, not too long ago, I had the camera and I was flipping through clothing and uh, I missed like a couple Patagonia jackets. I couldn't believe it. Um, I, I didn't even see it when I was editing the video. I had some comments like, hey, you should pick up this Patagonia. It's like, oh, what? I missed Patagonia. <laughs> um, oh, well. Uh, this time I didn't miss this one. It's... Yeah, it seems to be pretty good condition. There's like a light stain, like very light. Um, probably will just come out. But I don't know what this is worth exactly. I don't find enough Patagonia, really. Sell a lot. I think the last thing I sold 
I sold to my nephew. Uh, it's like a sweatshirt. I don't even remember what he gave me for that, but I, you know, gave him a big, a big discount anyway. I would say minimum thirty dollars plus shipping. I'd sell this for. But there it is, everybody. That's the haul for today. I really, really do appreciate you watching, and I'd appreciate it more if you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you're finding in the wild. All that stuff helps the video. It allows me to keep making these. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.